in my head i'm like god i know this is not the end of my life you are not going to leave me at this no at this point of my life i was so sad hey, just it's not Rachel. It's, it's not Rachel. <laughs> hello guys hello guys hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kenya brymo Dilade, you know as Dilade. So in this video, it's going to be a talk and drive video, and I'm going to be addressing my change of name, why I changed my YouTube name, and I'll also be giving you a little gist on my Bimini Saga Woodlums attack to our office. In my head, I'm like, God, I'm not going to die this way. No, this is not the plan you have for me. So in my talk and drive, while driving, I'll be so giving you this gist. So I told you guys. I'm an auntie and I came here in Abuja to assist with my nephew. Oh, you need to see him. Oh my God, he's so pretty. I call him, he's a guy, he's not so much actually, but that guy is so fine to be as fine as handsome. So in this drive, I'm going to be sharing my being saga with you. And while I change my name, I hope you enjoy this drive. <laughs> I drive and talk and like I said <laughs> they all don't trust me in driving but today I'm driving myself so break oh then I'm going to be telling you about why I changed my YouTube name and the way hoodlums attacked our office in Bini because I went to I did my IT at Bini. I'm sure I said that in my previous video that I did my IT at Bini City and it was supposed to be a six month IT. But as COVID will have it, I couldn't do exactly six months, so I worked for a few months sure. To fill up my IT book and do defense in school, but I'm yet to go back to school, so I'm still at home. So this particular day, it was during the NSAS protest and all. So we are at the office. Immediately we got to the office. <laughs> this guy, there was this bus that passed in Lagos. I call it downfall. I don't know what they call it in B. So I don't know the exact name they call it in B. But I know in Lagos we call it downfall bus, but it's not downfall because downfall is the yellow and black bus but this is not yellow i can't remember that bini bus you know bini is not my place so i can't remember the bus color exactly so we were in work that day and then this bus passed and the bus driver looked into the company and he was like when i see they come work when i see they come work like like joke like joke and then when we got to work daddy i saw that at the other part of the road they had started burning tires the hoodlums it was that answers protest but these are not protesters they are hoodlums that hijacked the protest so they're not like when i see they come work when i see they come work like joke like joke that um boss went and we thought that was the end guy okay, so it was just the beginning not long after the hoodlums just came to the front i don't know what was happening i just know that the hoodlums came to the front of our office like they were throwing bottles, throwing wood, throwing stone. It didn't seem so serious because we didn't think they would be able to enter because our office is close to a major police station that controls like about five other police stations. So I didn't think those hoodlums would enter the office. Like nobody thought of it. So I had to leave my building because um the person I was on that day and just like him is going home or this and that. Myself and my friend, we left the office now. We now went to the HR manager's office. So we're there and the HR manager's office is like really close to the office gate and we could see what was happening then we saw the hoodlums the way they were plenty on the road in front of the office train sticks <coughs> train everything you know <laughs> like play like play 
and then the next thing we saw it was they wanted to jump into the office fence like we didn't think it was possible we were when the officers but they cannot enter we had police in the office <laughs> bro <laughs> we don't know where the police went to like when it was time like when those people started police disappeared welcome to nigeria my country where in time of trouble you no longer find the police <laughs> So the police had disappeared and it was just every man for himself. We now all came out of the office. I thought it was gone, they were shooting. But then I realized that it was tear gas. The police and the hoodlums they were already facing themselves. Hoodlums were shouting, carrying cutlers, bunny tires, doing a lot of things. So they now it was like they and the police they were now facing themselves. <laughs> police were now throwing tear gas at them, like that, like that. And we said they wanted to enter our office, bro. <laughs> This is what we just all ran out, ran down from the office. Like we ran down from our office. When we ran down from the office, watching this clip I inserted here is when they realized there's a government company here and people are at work. So they started stoning the office, trying to hit our glass. Probably they noticed we were there. People were there watching them. So they started stoning the glass and then realized someone wanted to jump in. And the thing is, if one person should jump inside the compound, the rest of them would jump in. So we just, at this point, we ran out of the office and went to the back of the office because this is the front. We all went We all ran down from the office, went down to stand. Then we kept on hearing the sound. It felt like they were shooting guns, but then we realized that it was tear gas. The police were trained to chase the hoodlums away. So we now had to come out of the office they're like everybody should leave the office everybody should vacate the office so myself and my friend when we went to hr office i said that earlier we now came we now came down and stood for a while hoping things would reduce now the point of us waiting was to um the point of us staying downstairs after we all came down from the office was hoping things would reduce so we would just probably run home or something <laughs> it did not reduce instead it became worse so we came down, we had to cut leave. We, had leave. we were able to leave the office successfully. Then see the police shouting at us that we should run, we should do this more. We could not even carry our cars from the office and all. We couldn't carry anything. We couldn't even carry laptop. It was that bad that they said we should not carry laptop. So people they will not be thinking maybe laptop bag, like maybe we're part of the hoodlums or things. We just didn't even carry our laptop bag or anything. You know, we walked home. It was that bad because you could not carry car out of the office because everywhere was blocked with fire, stick, the violence and all but we got home safely but <laughs> it was a serious thing that day but one thing I was so certain of that day was God, my friend was so scared, she was terrified but in my head I'm like God, I know this is not the end of my life you are not going to leave me at this no, at this point of my life, I was so certain. My friend was crying. I mean, feeling like a bad guy. I was like, I'm so crying. Nothing can happen. Don't cry. Nothing can happen. <laughs> I don't know that it's just one like me, but I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared at all. I just knew that we we're going to live there safe and sound. And we got home. I put clips of what happened when we now got. To it's okay now. Nah. The next time we had, they had burned things in the office. They had locked down the office, burnt a lot of stuff, broke things like a lot of things were destroyed in the office. The hoodlums, I don't know what they gained by entry. They burnt cars, yeah, people's cars. It was so bad. I felt bad for the owners of those cars, so it was really bad. I'll put clips of what happened there. So let me address my change of name. I changed of YouTube name. I changed my YouTube name because when I came to Abuja, I had things to do. I had things to do and I had to work with my meal. So me working with my meal, I had to change my name to Kenge Brimo. And formally, you all know my YouTube name is Dilade. So let me even give you the issue of that Dilade. My name is Demilade for people that don't know. So I took the L-A-D-E from Demilade and I added a Y to it, making it Dilade. Some people say it's lady with the Y, but I'm like, 
it's not lady with the why how is that lady with the e rather or with the why no that is la day then i just added a y to say like the la day that's what came about my youtube name the la day so i had things to do and i now realize thinking about it why not use my real name can you buy more like so you know when you know when you watch my YouTube, you're like yes that's kendi brymo the name is kendi brymo my name is kendi and my surname is brymo so i feel like i'm building a brand for myself using my real name kendi brymo so you could always tell that okay this is kendi brymo like so because of things i had to do with my meal i had to change my youtube name mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this video it was supposed to be like more detailed and full you can feel free to call me la day if you want the la day sure some of my friends call me buri as far buri from barimo i don't know how i don't know how they came about that buri but yes you can call me buri you can call me the la day you can call me kenny b anyone i'm cool with it so I hope you enjoyed watching thank you for watching this video with me don't forget to share like subscribe comment yeah comment let's engage let's have a conversation together so drop your comments in the comment section below i guess maybe i should just like put a little bit of music and let's dance we dance together we're gonna be doing this together <laughs>